Hey guys, Mighty Gazelle here, back with more Watch the Mighty, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. This is The Lovers, part two, uh, episode 17 of Stardust Crusaders. Just watched part one a few minutes ago. And a very interesting setup. The I like how, oh, the, I, there's a lot of payoff I'm hoping to get in this episode, with especially with Jotaro getting bullied by this guy who he can't touch as much as he wants to. He's basically like his slave right now. He has to do whatever he says. Uh, meanwhile, Paul Nareff and uh, Kakuin, um are trying to save Joseph by going inside his brain with shrunk down stands to destroy uh, the guy's stand. There's a reason they don't call this um, JoJo's normal adventure. Imagine. Like, just, just like everything about JoJo, like the same characters but there's no powers, there's no fighting. It's just sort of like a day in the life of a guy whose name happens to form the name Jojo. He just goes to work, nine to five job. Doesn't call his mom a bitch. Doesn't get swooned on by all the girls. No plane crashes. No monster killer beetles. No zombies, vampires. That would suck so much. <laughs> um, all right, let's dive on in. Make sure I have everything set. All right. Start the show recording. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll just say this. I haven't said this the last couple episodes. Uh, if you want to watch the whole unedited version with all the visuals, all the audio and stuff, consider joining the Patreon down below. Get all the episodes at the same time as these. All right. Three, two, one, go. I feel weird like promoting that because like, I don't know. I don't do YouTube for money, although it's it's nice, helps pay the bills and stuff. But um, if I don't tell people about it, then they won't know about it. It's just kind of like that simple. So pardon the terrible salesmanship. Is Stan Proud the name of this intro? I just I just noticed that for whatever reason the first for the first time Stan Proud because I know the last one was Bloody Stream I don't know what the first intro is called to Phantom Blood but I don't really care about that one too much although I did like when they used it in the finale of Battle Tennessee they was, that was excellent mm hmm 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 I am curious to see what Dio's uh, stand is. They, they keep alluding to it being extremely powerful. Because he has two stands. He gets to use Jonathan's, which is messed up. But <clears throat> Dan. What are the name? Dan. Steel Dan. Dan of Steel or whatever. Is it as Man of Steel? Is he supposed to is that like a Superman reference? Dan of Steel, Man of Steel. Wow. Ew. Why does it sound like leaves breaking? What a strange sound effect for scratching the back. Sounds like something crunching. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, so this guy's just messing with them because he, he probably knows it's they're planning something. <laughs> Dude, he's being his back's being scratched. Yeah, Polnareff, how about you get a bug put in your brain? So you do. Let's give him some change. (laughs) 
Oh my gosh. They think he's a crazy old man and they want to support him. Go buy the TV. <laughs> They're going to give him for free to watch or some shit. Oh, no, I'll just buy it. Oh, that was funny, though. They, they had pity on him. Oh, so he knows. Huh. <clears throat> I'm going to assume that Silver Chariot still can't see without him and is just following Elephant Green. If someone answered the question in the first episode, just know I'm recording this right after, so I can't see your answer yet about that. I like how they literally they bought the TV just for that. Wait, they didn't plug it in anything. Can you do that without power? I thought they needed a reception too. Oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Are they able to see? Is he able to see because of the TV screen? Maybe that's how. That makes sense. Ew. Ew. Get chopping. Yeah, get going. Obviously, it won't work right away. They'll have to overcome something in here. Oh, he can tank the hits? He's like metal or something? It's like Caesar from Pokemon. It's got a steel typing. Oh, no, they hit it. Hit him while he's down. Oh, this shit's like a ditto? Whoa. Oh, shit. No, pull the ref. Dude, the Joe Bros are just getting effed up in this episode. Whoa, this thing has got some weird powers. <clears throat> yeah, it's a shine his damn shoes. Oh my you dude Oh I I don't even want I they better have the most satisfying ending with Jotaro in this one. The second he gets the go ahead to kick this guy's ass, oh, he's done. I want his hat. I need to get a new hat for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Oh, I love that. Oh, yeah, you better shit yourself, punk. He's going to write that down, too. I love that. He wrote down everything. I'm pretty forgetful, so I want to make sure I don't forget. <laughs> oh, that was great. <clears throat> Oh, did it, can it multiply now? What the hell? Screw this thing. It's a ditto and it can do all the other shit. All right, so that answers my question how uh, Polnareff was able to like navigate the halls. Sorry if I'm stupid and slow on that one. Obviously, they can see through the TV. Even still, though, it's limited.
Oh, but don't don't hit his brain or anything with those. I guess it's a meme, the Emerald Splash thing. Like, nothing can dodge Emerald Splash, or nothing can block it. <clears throat> so if they find the real one, they're good? Obviously, they won't send the real one to attack like this. Ow! Why is pull the ref? The one getting effed up here. Oh, there goes your head. See, it doesn't matter if you destroy them. They just, like, regenerate. Oh, uh, maybe the rogue one's, like, still... Oh, wow. All right. Come on, boys. Find the real one. <laughs> For the sake of my brain... <laughs> <clears throat> Easy for you to say, Kakuin. You haven't gotten hit for shit. <laughs> You're perfect. That's the trick. You got to figure it out. Better hurry, too. Ew, stop chanting, please. Tamama, 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 tamama. Oh, I know how to say most in Japanese now. Tamama, 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 tamama. They just struck a pose like a boy band. Okay. Is he gonna make a buy for him or like is steal it or <laughs> Jojo is a punk, but he's not a thief, you know, that's petty. <clears throat> Wow. Can you get it through that little slit? Oh, you can. Wow, this asshole. This motherfucker. Yeah, seriously. Okay. What are we halfway? I want to see this guy get the shit kicked out of him. He's a little punk. Wow. Look how strong these guys are. I mean, it's Joe Dre. He's still bigger than all of them. That Asian kid? Good luck trying that on him. Ow! This freaking sucks! And then he's just gonna steal the whatever he wants, okay. Wow. I hate this guy. I want him to get... <laughs> I want him to get something bad to him. I'll, but if they kill his stand, he'll just die too, right? <clears throat> so you won't get to get payback. Oh, laughing. Yeah, there we go. That's my guy. <clears throat> yeah. 
Yeah, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, I'm telling you, they better have a satisfying payoff, please. They're teasing it so well. He keeps laughing. Like I doesn't say, you don't know Paul and the ref. He says, you don't know the coin. He did the poison. He did the finger point, I think, again. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> Something suddenly, <laughs> oh, I love the way it looks. I love when they change the color palette. It's great. Yeah, hell yeah. <gasps> See, isn't he? He's dead now, right? Yeah, exactly. That's my fear. I want you. Know, I want the payback to happen. No, 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 no. Well, that's good. Yeah, overdrive, baby. Woo! Hammond power. Just shocked his own brain with it. That's crazy. I mean, the brain conducts electricity already, like on its own, so, you yeah. <laughs> know. Mr. Buddy Buddy. <laughs> He's about to agree with that joke, watch. Oh, it's going back. Oh, if it enters, watch it enter Jotaro, and he even, he'll still beat him up, like, so much, like, he'll just be tougher. He'll just be, like, straight up tougher than him. That'd be such, that'd be a satisfying way for this to end. Oh, he ripped your hair out. He's still plenty, though, so. Uh. No thanks. Gross. Ew. <clears throat> wow watch watch uh platinum star platinum just like catch it mr miyagi style oh called it called that shit Dude, he did! He actually fucking did! Oh! Come on, get your- get your payback! Hell yeah. He- he could crush it, but he's gonna get his payback, watch. Maybe he's maybe he's too mature to do that. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, he's got him groveling. <clears throat> wow. 
Wow. Ow. Okay. I like it. I like it. He showed restraint. A broken arm, broken leg, still plenty. <laughs> I'll punch you 1,000 times. <laughs> Get effed, bro. Oh no, dude, he's gonna. Oh no, dude. This guy didn't deserve mercy. What's he going to do? <clears throat> <laughs> What? What? Ow! Ho! Hell yeah. Wow. Send out, dude. Oh, we were going to get it. Oh my god, he's going back to the crying. Don't let him off this time, Jotro. <laughs> What's he going to do? I just wanted to know. I got to know. <laughs> you can't pay back what you owe with money. <laughs> oh, no, 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 yeah. He said a thousand punches. He said a thousand punches, bro. You got to pay it. <laughs> there we go. Yay. Uh, no, no pity for this guy. This asshole using children as hostages, trying to anyway. Lying. Nice. Here's your receipt. <laughs> Jotaro. Oh. Mother F and Jotaro. Man, that was that was that was satisfying. That was a good two-parter. Really good two-parter. The whole time you're just thinking, man, what is JoJo gonna do to pay to get payback on this guy? And then you, and you see he's like writing notes at everything he's done. And then he's the surprise is he was actually gonna let him off with just a broken arm, broken leg, you know. Some great restraint by Jotaro, I thought. And then he found out, no, he's lying and tried to stab him in the back again, literally. He's like, oh, no. All right. Now's the time to get a thousand punches. And then wrote him a damn receipt. Trace a spin around and they cross the floor. They've got the moves. Oh, way, oh. Then they bring you more. Uh, the black, the punk, and the metal band. Oh, way, oh. And Egyptian. Oh, 
<sighs> oh yeah, 2 a.m. Well, that'll do it for my recording session tonight. Hope you guys enjoy it. I certainly did. This is a, I thought this is a much better two-parter than the uh, Justice one, uh, which is, st- that was still enjoyable. Uh, this one just, it did the right things. It had, it had everyone contributing, like literally everyone in the group contributed, which is great. Um, some pulling the ref, uh, Kakuin, uh, team up to help Joseph. And then just everything with, uh, Dan, Dan of steel and Joe Tiro is very entertaining. So, all right. I think we're actually nearing, um, I think we're actually nearing the end of, uh, the first half of Stardust. I think the first half is 24 episodes. So this was at 17. Um, yeah. We're in the home stretch for the first half of it. I'm curious to see if like the intro and outro change for the second half. I'm going to guess no. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, Hard to say. But uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, this has been Mighty Gazelle. Hoping you all have a mighty day. See you guys.